This poster concerns glass foam composite for high power microwave absorption. The aim of this work is to evaluate the performance of an inorganic matrix for microwave absorbing application. Thus, inorganic matrix present a good chemical low resistance and high temperature stability. They are also eco designed here because they are elaborated from recycled waste glass of CRT. For the foam glass elaboration, the glass waste is first mixed with the foaming agent. This mixture is then heated following a three-step process, the temperature ramp, followed by operatic temperature step. In this step, the glass becomes viscous and the foaming agent reacts with the glass waste to produce gas bubble. The expansion and the cooling fats lead to the glass foam production. Different amount of carbon are here uh, used between 0.5 and 5%. This curve and this photo show that when the amount of carbon increases, the foaming of the mixture increases and the density of the foam decreases. The limit is reached with 5% of carbon for which the structure of the foam is altered. For the dielectric properties, we can note that very high values of dielectric losses are obtained for the samples and are associated to relative low permittivity. However, the dielectric properties vary according to the percentage of carbon but not in a linear way. Here I present the dielectric properties of samples as a function of the weight percentage of carbon. And we can observe that uh, the, the permittivity decreases as a function of the carbon amount and increases for the higher percentage and inversely for the dielectric losses. Maximum dielectric losses are obtained here for the glass foam made with 1.5% of carbon. Here are presented the dielectric properties of the same samples as a function of the foam densities. The real permittivity present a presents a linear evolution as a function of the density and dependently of the carbon percentage. But the losses increase with density before decre decreasing for the last sample. This result confirmed that the dielectric losses are a compromise between introduced carbon in the mixture and the an unreacted carbon remaining in the final foam sample, but also to the density of the sample which is monitored also by the carbon percentage. The chosen composition for the prototype was 1.5% of carbon, uh, carbon percentage. Here I show an example of application of these absorbers. It consists on cost-effective high-power microwave termination to protect emitting systems from return signals. The simulation of absorption performance of this load shows that the wave is absorbed before reaching the bottom of the geometry, which confirms the good absorption performance of our material. Moreover, a good fit is obtained between a simulation and measurement of the reflection loss of this absorber. The power simulation of this load shows that the maximum uh, of rigid temperature under 73 kilowatt per meter square is around 400 degrees. The measurements show that for the same power density, no modification in the material behavior. So this material can be used as high power microwave terminations. Moreover, to improve the compromise density and dielectric properties, a combination of foaming agent can be used in order to reduce the density while keeping an electromagnetic absorption. Here are presented photos of sample made the first with only carbon and for the second with a mixture of foaming agent. This last sample presents a very low permittivity while maintaining high level of losses which induces a high absorption performance. This allows obtaining the best compromise between a mass and shielding efficiency. Thank you for your attention.